Hi, Bill Fabricini with Pit Forever here on this beautiful snowy like day in Colorado, but a great day to exercise. Gonna take you through a fundamental intermediate session, creating some flexibility in your hips and shoulder girdle. Remember, good posture means good movement. You need flexibility, mobility to have good posture. What you need for today's exercise session, and it won't be too long, 10, 12 minutes or so, give or take uh, a chair and a mat. Um, and let's begin. Make sure the chair is stable. You see how it's set up here? We're gonna start by stretching out the hip flexor, all these tight muscles in the front that get really tight from sitting all day long. Take that right leg, bring it behind you, a nice soft mat, push off the ball of your heel, hand on the chair, push yourself forward. You're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Nice stretch through here, upright, good head posture. Three, two, one. We're gonna make that dynamic now. If you wanna spin the chair around this way, just so you can just grab it like so. We're gonna swing the leg forward backward now. We're gonna stand nice and tall, hand stable here. Kick the heel to the butt, freeing up the hip. 10 times, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Stay tall, six, seven. Don't let your back be a slinky. Nine, 10, two times. Bring it back here. Drop right back into that hip flexor stretch. Hand down, stabilize, push the hip forward, engage the glute, lengthen out the front of the hip here. Breathe, stay tall, tense the abdominals. Three, two, one. Spin the chair around. Set your posture, push down firmly on there. Tall, pull the abs in, glutes tight. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, kick it a little harder if you want, seven, stretch that hamstring, eight, nine, and the quad when it goes behind you, 10, other side, okay, over, hip flexor here, these muscles that get tight from sitting all day, slouchy, we gotta go the opposite direction, half kneel position, set your position, hand down, push forward, hold, breathe, approximately 10 seconds, lengthen that hip flexor, Front of the hip is stretching, three, two, one, up. Spin the chair around or grab something firmly, set position and kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just gonna spin it around. Even this direction is fine. Key is just get your hand on it, push on it, hip forward, 10 seconds. Go. Squeeze the rear glute. Notice how you get a better stretch in the front of the hip if you tighten your buttocks. Three, two, one. Get balanced. Stable, good posture. Three, two, one. Swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, great job, okay. So that's good, again, stretching the front of the hip and then the kick actually stretches your hamstring and a little back. Now let's emphasize these side muscles here, these side, all the tissue on the side and in the back. What you're gonna do here, set that chair up here. You're gonna drop down, put both hands on here. Look at my nice neutral spine, little bend. I'm gonna take my right leg, cross it around like so, kind of like an ice skater, and using body weight, and I'm just gonna sink into it and drop. As soon as I do that, I get a nice stretch on the outside of my thigh. Emphasis is on the right thigh, but I'm also stretching the left one as well. And just holding that for 10 seconds, okay? Get that nice stretch and break, okay? Just gonna spin the chair around. Now the swing motion, instead of being forward backwards, is gonna be across the body like slow. So, so you're stretching the outer hip as you kick across and the groin as you kick out. 10 times, here we go. One, two, Three, four, stay tall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. One more time, drop into it. Stable, nice static stretch. Hold it. You can bounce a little bit and then stick. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Good. Spin it around. Remember, it's a core stability exercise too because you're trying not to let your back be loosey-goosey. You have to use muscles to stay still here 
and begin the kick pattern. One, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Okay, I'm gonna spin around the other side. Both hands down firmly on the chair, stable. Take your left leg, bring it around, drop your body weight into it, kind of play with the positioning of your feet till you feel like you've got it, then drop your body weight down there. Stretch, feel that stretch on the outer hip. Hold it, hold it, three, two, sink into it slowly, use your body weight, one, excellent. Your body weight is a great leverage to create flexibility. Okay, nice tall posture. I'm gonna take that left leg now, swing it across the body. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Spin it, hands down, neutral spine, good positioning. Bend the leg to come across the body. Nice stretch in the outer hip, kind of work your way into it and drop. 10 seconds. Eight. Feels really good. And up. Spin the chair around. 10 times, pendulum. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Great job. Feel the difference in how your hips feel right now. Lots more mobility. It allows you to be more upright and tall. Let's do the same thing with the shoulder girdle, okay? So, I'm gonna come around this side. We're gonna pull the arm across the body using the chair. So, we're gonna come down like this. Set your position. Take your right arm, kind of like that. Place it on the chair. And just drop your body weight onto it until you feel a stretch in the back of the right shoulder. Hold that for ten seconds. Keeping the nice position of the spine. Two, three. Then what you're gonna do is come up, put the hand down here with the left. You're gonna take that right arm and just use dynamic mobility, just motion to create motion in the shoulder. Okay, 10 times, here we go. One, two, swing it. Three, four, five, six, whip it around. Seven, eight, both directions, nine, 10, take the right arm, static stretch again, put it across the body, drop your body weight onto it till you feel that stretch behind the shoulder. It should be behind the shoulder, you're feeling it. Okay, then we're gonna get dynamic with it, take that extra flexibility you've just created and whip it around. Now use that motion in a dynamic pattern. Lengthen those tissues. As I say, it's like making a pizza. Take the dough, pound it, lengthen it, and then spin it around. Great job. Okay, I'm gonna spin around this side over here. Just think of your tissue a little bit like dough. It's gotta be pounded and splayed, lengthened. Drop down on it just like so. Back of the shoulder stretch and 10 seconds. Feel that stretch behind the left shoulder. Three, two, one, set good posture here. Start off slow with the swing, and then increase the range of motion. I like to touch the back of my other shoulder. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more time. Nice stretch behind the shoulder. Hold that. Three, two, one. Set your posture, neutral spine. Begin gently, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, okay. Chair can move it out of the way, really good. A few more exercises, one more connecting the upper body together. You're gonna take one arm, bring it behind your head like so, the other hind behind your back. It looks like this from the back. Then you're just gonna switch. Like so, okay? We're gonna just do that 10 times using momentum. Ready, begin. One, two, three. Stay tall, put your posture. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. It's difficult to stay in alignment, not let the head go forward. It shows you where your limitations are. This is why we gotta work on these things, create motion in these tight joints. Okay, let's just connect everything together now. Two exercises and we'll wrap up. You take your right leg, step over your left. That's gonna stretch your outer hip, reach up tall. Feel that stretch from the fingertips to the toes. Take your left leg, step over your right, reach up nice and tall. We're gonna repeat that five times. Here we go. One, stretch. One, two, two, three, connect the body, three. These are connector exercises. Four, four, five, five, great. Okay, last one, call this a cheerleader. You just lift the knee up and you swing the arms across the body like so, okay? Five or six times. Just connect the body, start to feel elastic, okay? Right knee will come up, we'll swing the arms over the right knee. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get tall here and break. Ah, I went seven or eight. Oh, I told you five or six. Okay, you get the point. Good work, guys. Um, remember, fundamentals are so important. We use these to make our body mobile, feed stability into the core better posture, everything you need for a better body to feel better. Remember, change comes with commitment. I'll see you next time around. Never miss the latest videos from your doctor-designed fitness experts. Subscribe now.